When given the choice between choosing a twist throttle and a thumb throttle on an e-bike, they're both usable. There's nothing inherently wrong with either one. I started with a twist throttle. I went to a thumb throttle because I have grip shift shifters on my bike and it works. You can put your hand over it and still twist and then move it to the side and use the grip. But it's not really ideal. You don't have as much handlebar to hold on to. You got that little part where the cable comes out, so you're holding at it like you grab between the two. So it is kind of awkward. I mean, by comparison, it's obviously not the best choice. But in using a twist throttle for a while, I would say it's not like a motorcycle throttle. First of all, it's not full size, and so you're grabbing this little bit. I do a thing where I grab with my thumb and my pointer finger, and just kind of do a little dainty twist like that, but also the way it reacts, there's no cable that you're pulling, it's just an electronic sensor. So it's kind of this effortless-ishness to it. And there's also this delay, so you do it and then there's a delay in actually it happening. Uh, same thing with when you're pedal assisting. You start pedaling, there's a delay in when it actually kicks in, which in that regard, I think that's a good thing because you might just be like positioning your pedals in the right position to be able to take off. I think the delay is a good thing, but the same delay is on the twist throttle. And I think that's just kind of a thing to get used to. I don't know, it's, it's a thing that doesn't bother me. I'm not riding a motorcycle, so there's certain things that I would certainly say would be more optimal, like having something that is a little more responsive, a little more mechanical, gives you a little bit more input as to what you're doing. When I'm starting off, you're not giving it the gas, you're, you're kind of just tapping a little bit just to get it going, but you don't want to spin out, especially depending on if it's front wheel drive. If it's rear wheel drive, you're more likely to wheelie, uh, which now leads to uh, thumb throttle. So the advantage to a thumb throttle is one, it takes up less space on your handlebars. Two, if you have a grip shift, it actually fits together on your bike in a way where <laughs> it makes sense because the thumb is actually sticking out and then the unit that mounts to it is the thickness of your grip shift so that way it looks correct, but it also then gives you more room for your actual handlebars for you to put your hands. So I don't know if this was like a safety feature, but the advantage to a thumb throttle is that if you wheelie, it doesn't really matter that much the way a bike is because the twist throttle doesn't take up the whole handlebar. But on a motorcycle, if you wheelie, you can't let go of the throttle. If you're pulling back and it's wheelieing and you have the throttle going, you can't let go of the handlebar. So you end up stuck in whatever position you are and you have to grab the clutch. But again, I don't think it makes that much of a difference for an e-bike. It really has to do with it fitting. And also keep in mind that not all thumb throttles are created equal. And actually it seems like more of them are designed, um, we'll say cheaply. If you look at how the wire comes out, if there's no stem or any kind of substance, if the wire just goes into a thing and it's a very small thing, watch out because chances are it's not reinforced in any way. So you have something that's supposed to take, I guess we'll just say some abuse, right? And it is wired just by solder contacts, just like little soldering joints. So in the act of installing it, pulling the wire through was enough to pull the signal wire connection out. And you look inside and there's this little metal thing that is like this attempt at being a safety stop on the wire. But I mean, I knew something was wrong because well, I knew something was wrong because then when I went to use it, it didn't work. And I knew I had wired this thing upright and then pulling the wire a little bit and it's coming back and forth inside this very small unit very easily. So it's like, oh, this is definitely, um, well, not definitely, but I have a suspicion that there's a bad connection in there because I don't think this wire should be able to move that easy. And uh, yeah, you don't want your throttle to be that delicate, it's this stuff is supposed to be road worthy. Because the first throttle I bought was, I guess I bought it because I liked the way the actual thumb mechanism was. And I also like that it came unwired. So there's an SM plug and then you would 
put the wires in the order, like the pins, in the order that your control box would be. So if you're changing your throttle, there's three pins, hot, ground, and signal. Sometimes the controller box has the male SM plug, and then the throttle has the female, and sometimes it's reverse. And uh, also the order of the wires is not always the same. I think mine was signal is on the outside, so it's hot ground signal. That's the lowdown on twist throttle versus hand throttle. They're both good and they're both usable, so really has more to do with your configuration. I guess I like the thumb better, and because it's not something I'm using all the time, to just be like engaging a switch is better than doing a twisting motion. You're basically putting everything on using your thumb as a joint rather than using your wrist. So I guess thumb gets a little bit of an edge, but if I never switched, I, I wouldn't have felt like the twist throttle was any issue because I'm using pedal assist most of the time. And the hand throttle is more, if you suddenly need more power or if I'm coasting down a hill, right? So at a certain point, my pedaling is not gonna be really giving me a lot of input if I'm going downhill. And I wanna maintain my momentum so I will give it the throttle and I'll stop pedaling and that'll be kind of like a break and that way when I get to the bottom of the hill, I can start pedaling again. And the other side of that being if I'm in traffic and I need some more get up and go, like especially if you get stopped, if you're at a light or something and you, you're trying to keep with traffic, I'll try and position my pedals so that I have a good takeoff. But sometimes it's hard because having an e-bike definitely makes you more lazy when it comes to shifting. So you could end up stopping, like you get stopped at a light and you're in a high gear. Normally, if you were riding a regular bike, you might downshift, right? But when you have pedal assist and you pedal, you have to pedal to downshift. That also makes it so that you accelerate. So you just, you oh, I got a break, right? Like, so I got to slow down. I can't pedal to downshift because that'll make me go faster. And so you end up steering from a high gear and then you need to give yourself a little acceleration to get going. In that regard, I would say I do like the thumb throttle better. 